Hey, hey, we're back with Death Unto Madness going into, you no, know, we're starting, starting this episode, episode 20. <laughs> Hello, guys. How are you, how are you guys doing? Ready to, ready to play some Burning Wheel? Your favorite Burning Wheel show is now live and we're ready to rock and roll. So things have been going crazy. Things have been escalating on Death Unto Madness. And I'm thinking we're ramping to a arc end. Um, so we'll see how things go today. I think I think some major change is about to happen. So we'll we'll uh, we'll get there. Uh, but let's start with uh, Seth. Do you want to read off Cyrilus's bits, and then we'll sure. get started? There. Um, <clears throat> you got some new stuff going on. My belief. Yes, new beliefs and instincts. Um, I've been shown the truth of the world. It must burn. My first step is to get the residents of the palace to feed on new flesh. Yum. Love that. Lovely. Um, my gin is not okay with the path, path I've chosen. I must deal with him one way or another. <laughs> I've been given strange new abilities and I will discover their true potential. I will increase my skill with enchanting. Instincts. Always be armed. If someone I'm with refuses a drink, then I will chide them about it. If someone irritates me, I take a drink of my flask, which may or may not be filled with blood now. Who knows? <laughs> um, my traits. I have veneer of obedience, drunk, religious, competitive. I don't know if I'm religious anymore. Um, a speaker of the secret language mad unlucky diseased lame iron stomach sea legs forked tongue yeah so when we reach the end of an arc that that probably is the the trait that's gonna go is religious probably okay. yeah <clears throat> we'll a chance to vote off things cool uh maya what's your stuff you're muted oh, uh, oh there you go I'm here. Um, I'll do whatever it takes to elevate my son to a place of prophet king. I will make my position in the kingdom known to the public. Uh -huh. um, Alpheus is a traitor. <laughs> I will ensure he is never welcome back in Cynia. The art of the theater must be maintained and not forgotten. I will help create a play. Cool, cool. My instincts are I will always put my son first no matter what. Uh, never back down from a challenge. If I meet a fellow performer, I will give them my assistance. Traits are colorful, religious, intellectual, competitive, thick skin, market privilege, bastard, and glib. Cool, cool. And last but not least, Avra. Um, uh, I believe my father was ill by someone else's doing. I will seek answers in the Irida. I believe Mary and Keladon will give the city hope. I will convince him of this. And... I will be corresponding with Keladon while he is away. I will use this as an opportunity to brush up on my penmanship. <laughs> um, and then instincts. If I have a task beyond my specialty, then I seek the advice of someone more competent. And I always have my falconry gloves on hand. And my traits are your grace, formalist, religious, competitive, careful, birdie talk, marker privilege, and driven. Lit. Alrighty. So what do we want to start with? Got some got some cool stuff going on. Um Searless, Maya, Avra, anyone have a preference? Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Well let's just uh, go down the line, shall we? Searless, let's start with you. Um let's let's deal with this gin situation, shall we? Oh, fun. <laughs> so where are you? Frame the scene for me. Um, where are you when you're talking to Galgalus and trying to, like, figure this out? Um, hmm. Just in your creepy black blackout curtain room? Sure. Yeah. So, yeah, dark room, dank and musty and littered with all of your stuff. Um, and uh, wh it, where is Cyrilus in the room? What is he doing? Like, are you, you know, sitting in a lotus position on your bed? Like, what is Searless's vibe right now? Is he pacing? He's probably just laying down. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sounds lazy. good. Searless just sprawled across his bed. 
Um, mm-hmm. And suddenly you just get headbutted by this goat. Right. And, you know, no, no damage mm-hmm. done or anything like that um, mechanically. But I think like it just shocks you into mm-hmm. like alertness instantly as Galculus just like slams his horns into you. Um, and then you just hear in your mind, what are you doing, you idiot? What are you talking about, you stupid goat? <laughs> you cringe in, please don't hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> Goggleist says, I don't think you understand what you have gotten yourself into here. You have touched a different power, a power that does not play nicely with the power I have given you. What do you expect me to do? Go along with the destruction of everything I have worked for? Yes, I do. And you will. Or else we're going to have problems. What could you possibly threaten me with, human? Um. <laughs> and that's a good question, right? You don't, I don't know if you, if Cyrilus really knows how this connection works. Or, like, no. <laughs> what he could threaten him with. Like, I, I think the only thing you know that you have leverage over this guy with is... I mean, you, you are in control of the bond <laughs> in the sense that he can't possess you and, like, take control of your body or anything mm-hmm. like that, right? Um, and, and so I think the thing you know is that these djinn, right, have these animal forms, but they can only really actually interact with the world by taking a bond with um, a human. Mm-hmm. And so you know that if you cut off the bond somehow, which you could probably figure it out by just going into a drinking trance, right? Um, mm-hmm. You, could, I mean, that is a threat to him, right? He can't do the things he wants to do yeah. if you cut him off. That's and the so only I thing I that w- I think Cyrilus knows. It could be a threat. Okay. So I think what I want to say is, and so what are you going to do to me if I don't go along with what you want? You entered into this pact as the superior. Well, maybe it's time the roles changed. And you can sense he's his mind is like flexing itself, like trying basically readying itself to attack yours. Oh, to try to wrestle, to try to wrestle and get control of and basically make the relationship into a possessed relationship. Hmm. Um, you could try to head it off somehow. Yeah. Up to you. Probably. What do you think? I'll be like, I'll be drinking some blood and then I'll be like ready in my mind. Right. You want to basically take a big swig of blood to like yeah. make a drinking test to basically yeah, prepare your brain. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds like the weird crap that happens on Death and Madness. So let's do, yeah, uh, let's have you make a drinking test, and I will oppose you with, oh, by the way, this is what Galgalus looks like. So, yeah, creepy, four-eyed, what I was expecting. Yeah. <laughs> Um, let's see. What does he even have at his disposal here? Yeah, this is issues. I don't even know if he has any skills per se, because he's literally an animal. <clears throat> so I guess he's just trying to break your will. Yeah, I mean, so I guess your Ob is all one. Because you're making okay. doing a skill against a uh, stat. Ooh. So I don't get any help for this, do I? I don't think so, no. Okay. So Ob is a one. <laughs> not a whole, not very good of a roll, honestly, all things considered. <laughs> um but it is enough. <laughs> so yeah, I mean I think the thing is Cyrilus just so, like, a normal person who enters into a pact like this wouldn't have any sort of skill that could combat it, right? 
Mm-hmm. Um, but the issue is, th- I mean, that's what drinking is for, and that's what you've made it do uh, this whole time. Yeah. So, um, and I, so the thing is, Serialist, this is, I think the way this is different. So normally when you did the, like, magical drinking to do any of the demon stuff, it has been mm-hmm. like a, Vo- voiding of your mind right like you empty your thoughts mm-hmm. you are m- like purely empty um but this is yeah. very <clears throat> different right when you swig the blood this time it's basically you break your mind in half and to go mad momentarily so that he has nothing to grab onto right okay um and so maybe serialist just starts gibbering insanely for a second and like foaming at the mouth and then galgalus just has nothing to do and he's just like sitting there like I, I, there's nothing i can do and eventually his mind retreats and then serialist like blinks and he's back to normal but he went like irreparably mad for a second there um and then you're back and you've won okay and so galgalus is just like gritting his teeth you can see this like goat like they're probably he's probably not gritting his teeth, but he's like, like stamping his hoof, like, like obviously frustrated by what mm-hmm. just happened. Um, but you sense that you won. What do you do? I'll say, as you've now realized, you can't do anything to me. So, you can either. suffer watching me do things you hate or you can just go along with it yeah the issue is that i feel like that's not a command or intimidation role that's just a, that was just a straight persuasion role um so i mean i guess roll it but we can um i mean you can always try something more drastic if this fails um okay Let's see. I mean, I was just he'll definitely work. To like, he'll work better with you if you succeed on this, right? Like, because if you actually persuade him, that's that's going to be a better outcome in terms of like a yeah. partnership between the two of you than if you like force him to. Okay. Um. So it probably makes sense to start with this. Um. Real quick, I'm gonna check. There is. What the odd is gonna be? Because I'm pretty sure he has a graciated will. So I'm pretty sure that means. Um, the odd is harder. Shade, shade, shade. Where does shade even work? Is there a table of contents in this book? Yes. Sorry, give me a moment here. Sorry, while you're doing that, I just have to say this. Yeah, quick. go ahead. I'm grading papers, and I just read a kid's response, and literally at the end, he puts in parentheses, mic drop. Ha, <laughs> stop. I don't know what to say. <laughs> a plus all around. He's only getting half the points for the answer. It wasn't a very good answer. So <laughs> clearly it was not a mic. <laughs> Oof, that is a little That mic got busted and it wasn't even worth it. <clears throat> okay, so your ob is going to be four, unfortunately, Cyrilus, because of the gray shade. Mm-hmm. He only has a, a G2 will because he's, you know, an animal. Um, but uh, yeah, it increases by two because he's because it's gray shade. Uh, yeah, so put an ob four for a bean learned persuasion test. Do I get, Does that get mean it's really eight? I, I yeah, it'll not. double to eight. Yeah. When you oh put it in. What, what are you saying? What do you say? Sarah? Do I get any help? I assume I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, I mean you're also okay. doing a skill you don't have, um, so you right. can't fork. So and no one's around to help <clears> you. So. Ta-da. Hmm, that was expected. very good. Very good. Well, you could spend a fate point and bank it on a one in in the hundreds chance, probably. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> so mark a challenging on your will. Um, but yeah, so I think 
the djinn basically just says, like, I think our partnership has ended, Sirlis. I will be taking my power back now. And you can sense he's doing this reluctantly because, like, he is going to <laughs> lose his connection and have to go back to the, wherever he came from. Mm-hmm. But he's about to sacrifice that, which will take away your magic stuff. So you, you have to escalate now, somehow. So yeah, what do you do? I think at this point, I'm just mad at him. Yeah. And so I don't do anything. I let him go. You just let him go? Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Um, Bye. So I guess you feel a severing happen. Um, and suddenly you lose the enchanting skill. And your drinking is no longer magical. Um, Oh, bye. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to think if 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 the drinking thing might stay. Um, I think you can make a test to try to retain okay. the drinking, right? Like as the severing has happened, to like retain that bit of power, like to like grab onto some of the power it, exactly it as he's leaving. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. I'm trying to think of how you would do that, though. Would I make a drinking test? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. You could just okay. basically try to go insane enough that he can't take that with him because he can't read. He can't even Love figure that. out where in your mind it is, right? Well, it makes sense, too, because if you're angry right now, you would be drinking anyways. So. True, yeah. True. There you go. Okay. Yeah, so even if I had just argued, oh, you don't have enough time, you would have been like, no, I have an instinct for this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. Go ahead and do a drinking test. Um, I think it's going to be against an ob. Three. So if you really care about this, I'd maybe spend a persona or two. Oh, too late. Oh, never mind. <laughs> D- wow. That was such a good roll. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mark a difficult test on your drinking. Uh, you just advanced your drinking. Congratulations. Love that. For me. <laughs> wow. So I kept a lot. I kept a lot of power. <laughs> you really did. Yeah. So you will use lose your enchanting, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, though your um, your what's it called? Your um, uh, actual enchanted item that you made mm-hmm. still sticks around until it right until it fades naturally according to the roll you made. Um. But yeah, you feel that power leave you. Um. I think this also means you lose corruption. Right? Ooh. Because it's not. Does it's that not, mean I also lose all those corruption traits? We let we'll look at them. Um because okay. so, the thing is it's not even that um you you aren't corrupted anymore. Like obviously in the actual just word sense of the word, like you are corrupted. But I think corruption yeah. in this game, in our game, is like specifically the demon connection. So you don't have that anymore. Um uh, hatred is your new new bad thing mm-hmm. that you have. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at your traits. No, yeah, I think you have to keep your traits because those are like, most of them you have are bad. Um, and so I think the mark, the mark of the corruption is still there. Um, but, uh, yeah, you're no longer, you no longer have the power. Um, at least of the enchanting bit. So, which honestly isn't a huge loss for Cyrilus. He wasn't super good at enchant. Enchanting yeah. anyway. No, um, it's hard. <laughs> it is no, yeah, and that's the thing, right? Like part of like those sorts of skills in Burning Wheel are meant f- to be like long process academic sort of skills, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and Searless is just from day one never made for that. So yeah, it was no. hard for him. Um, so I think honestly, he's 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 turning back on a path that's m- more his style. Kill things. Mm-hmm. That's that's what he's gonna do now. Just to kill things. <laughs> Ah, uh, cool stuff. Yeah. Um, what do you do next? Like, if that happened, right? And you're just like, bye bye. Like, see ya. Um, and then I think what happened, you know, the the goat like suddenly just becomes an actual goat. Uh, like it looks the same, but like you can tell the the spirit of the goat just like left. 
And so you just have a goat here that's just a regular goat. What do you do? Um, <laughs> it's just a goat. <laughs> um, I guess I kill it. I don't, I don't know <laughs> right, what else yeah. I would do. Uh huh. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. So you just walk up and skewer the goat. Um, yeah. you feel nothing. Um, except yeah. for hatred, because you always feel hatred. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, we just see that that severing of Cyrilus from the from the demon cult. Um, what is Cyrilus's next move? Right, if he's just like, okay, yeah, good riddance. Um, I guess partially just because it's what I want to do in general, but also to just spite the goat demon. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think I might get started on my trying to get the meat to the palace yeah feed human now flesh. my question is would ophelia know that this has happened uh she will soon i think you would okay. have i think you'll have this session to to not have her know but then i'll message Ugh. maria and be like you now know this what would you do and i'll ask and we'll see <laughs> right because i assume somehow she would like someone would tell her yeah. she could she, sense she'd it figure it out or something. um but i think you'll have at least this session <clears throat> to do it without being interrupted by her okay oh <laughs> Yeah, so you might not even have access to the palace for that much longer, so right. <laughs> it might be time to do some damage, right? <laughs> yeah. So, Cyrilus, I mean, there's a couple steps to this, right? You have to, you obviously have to kill someone to, like, feed to everybody. Um, right, because it's not like, <laughs> I mean, you guess you could probably go find some random dead body in somewhere, but, I like... I need a meat dealer! Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, I guess that is a, a fair point, like, uh, I think the hate cult would have given you. I need to come up with an actual name for them. Um, Is it just the barbers or no? No, I think like I think now that I know more of what they actually are about, I need to give them like a more esoteric name than that. Okay. Um, but I'll, I'll think of it. Um, so they gave you a bunch of uh, black, like crushed black orchid um, that you're supposed to put in that. That that's, that's, has other materials and stuff in it, but that's like the primary substance. Um, like this mixture that you have to like infuse into any meat that you're going to feed to people. Cause I mean, just feeding someone human flesh will kind of make them slightly mad. Like that's actually a scientific thing. Yeah. Um, but you're, you need to do like a spiritual badness. Um, and that will help. Okay. Um, so, uh, they gave you the materials so you can put it in. Um, you can season the meat properly. Um, but you'll have to get the meat yourself, I think. Okay. Who you want to kill? Let's see. Do we have any fun named NPCs that you could murder? Oh. Do we stop? Do we have um? Do we have what's his name? Do we have Hector's dead body? <laughs> <laughs> um. Yes, I think you do that pass but he's also like a zombie I yeah i mean he was like zombified but like i don't know if that makes a terrible difference um <laughs> he got unzombified again right so it's like the meat is rotting but that's the only difference if you season it well enough you could probably still get people to eat it yeah i mean people literally did that in the middle ages all the time they just ate rotten meat but seasoned it enough so they didn't notice Okay. So that is that what you want to do, Cyrilus? Feed your cousin sure. to the palace? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. So let's let's talk about real quick. What's the scale of this? Right? Do you literally want to basically feed like the whole palace? Like, who are you actually trying to get to eat this? And on what scale? I think it's as many people as possible. Yeah, but so one. I mean, I, one I don't guy's know if body is enough for that yeah. probably right yeah yeah so i think maybe the goal is a ripple effect yeah so maybe you want to basically the, the main goal here is to start making seeds of madness flow yes. throughout the whole place so you're just gonna like chop up chop up uh hector into bite-sized pieces sprinkle them throughout all of the different meals that go on throughout the palace 
and just start the chaos. Sounds sure. great. Sounds great. Yeah. Um, Are the uh, the council meetings now going to be potlucks? <gasps> oh, my gosh. No, Cyrilus. <laughs> that is actually the best way to do this. You don't you don't care right. about the about the peasants who were with like the, the servants of the palace. Like, that's not going to do what you wanted to do. You need to right. feed the council this meat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, wow. cool. So you have Hector's body. You can apply the orchid stuff. It's fine. Like, I don't think you have to roll for that. But now the trick is going to be actually getting it so that they'll eat it. What's your plan for that? I Could I, like, command... Oh yeah, just walk into the kitchen and just <laughs> start throwing orders and like you need to put this special meat in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And yeah. then I mean they You're they yeah, you're start... the ki- you're the king con- or the uh okay. king consort or whatever, yeah. Cuz I know I don't have a cooking skill. Yeah. <laughs> that was uh oh too bad your uh your butcher character isn't around. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Did he is he alive? Mm-hmm. What happened to him? Okay. <laughs> He's still around. Uh, you were much. you were secretly working for the Barber Assassins by the end of it, though. Yes. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah, sounds good. So, Cyrilus, go ahead and make a command roll, and you walk into the kitchen and start barking orders. I mean, this is probably only going to work once, because after they eat the meat, like, people are going to start asking questions, but... Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let me find a yeah. palace servant stat block and give you your ob. Command. There we go. I think it's going to be an ob four altogether. You can fork an intimidation, obviously. Okay. Oh, actually, real before you do this, actually, uh, mm-hmm. do you want to make that health test to get rid of that wound die? Oh, yes. Right. You probably have some time right. to recover here. How do I do that? There's health. Um, do I just yeah, health. Roll health. Yeah, make a make a health test. I think the ob is two, but mm-hmm. let me check quick. Uh, yep, ob two. Uh, oh yikes <laughs> zero successes uh yeah so yeah. basically the thing is with a light wound it actually um the only bad thing that happens is you the the, the wound sticks around for 24 hours um and then it goes away so that just okay. means that when you make this command roll yes you will have the wound penalty unfortunately so. okay how many personas oh i have four personas okay so what's the ob for my command? Uh, ob four. Can I put a persona? You in? can put in up to three if you like. Okay. So what? Yeah, and so it's a it, you normally be an ob three because that's their will, but it's an ob four because I mean even the king call because like the, I assume your intent here is to get them to do it without asking any questions or telling anybody else about it, right? yes but, but but like i feel like it's it's gonna be i added an increased obstacle there because you're right. literally asking them to put in mystery meat to all of the meals and it's just yeah. a little sketch right even for you okay um can you explain like the odds like yes with, without the persona what yeah each persona um, would i think there's actually the a thing on your sheet okay that says that um yeah test difficulty oh no that's not what i want um I feel like there is a thing around here somewhere. Uh, oh, no, there isn't. But there is a a website. Okay. I found for this. Because basically, I need to know my percentages of this succeeding. Because mm-hmm. I feel like this is a very important role for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. I gotta find this again. I did find like, yeah. Here we go. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> Running wheel. <clears throat> Roll chances. Here we go. Yeah, I found it. Okay, so you're rolling how many dice against? So inti- um, intimidation, or sorry, uh, command forked with intimidation is six dice minus the one from your 
so you're rolling five dice. Okay. <clears throat> against. Ob four. Does that mean four dice? No, so you're rolling five dice against an ob four. Um, and the chances of that succeeding without using anything, right, is a 19%. <laughs> okay, okay. So if you add a persona, if you add one persona, it in that increases to 3%, or sorry, 34%. Okay. If you add two persona, that increases to 50%. And if you add three persona, that increases to 64%. Okay. And then... And if you could make an argument for any of your other skills coming into play, you can also try to fork those in if you want to like. like. Okay. So, and if I do the, say, I spend three persona. Mm -hmm. If there's, what is it, like a six or something, I can spend a... Yes. Spend uh -huh. fate? Yeah. Um, okay. If you, if you spent fate... Um, and there was a six, you would get, um, yeah, it, it doesn't say anything more than, um, so yeah, three, three persona with one six rerolled is a 74% chance then. Um, but there might okay. be multiple sixes and you also have the chance to spend two fate and rerolled one of the failed dice. So. Okay. I'm going to go in with three persona. Sounds good. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much all What's the, the money. Uh, uh, again, of four. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. Right on the money. That's amazing. Now, it, it's a tie, so are they technically You, you get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that, that's only, that only comes up when someone's rolling against you. This is just a static obstacle. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because in that case, then, if we're looking at it from their perspective and they rolled, they also met the obstacle. So that's when we need the, the tie. To oh, okay, cool. Right. Got it. Uh, cool. Yeah. So no other fate needs to be spent. Uh, just go ahead and take off that persona and put it on mm -hmm. command. Um, Do I put three three personas right into command? Yes. Mm -hmm, into that okay. little P bubble there. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. You're actually pretty close to doing an Aristea on command and ingratiating it. So. You spent a lot in it. Yeah, with a with a four, you've succeeded. Um, and you get you you get the palace staff to feed the council and a, probably a bunch of important people human flesh. Yum. Yeah. Um, Am this, I included in this? Yes, Abba. I hope not. You know, I hope you're not included. She is no, because she's on the council. Yeah. Right. She has to be. So the thing is, gonna roll like perception checks or something like that, right? So you, like, so if, like the meat seems off or something. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. I don't think there is that. I think they all eat it and they don't suspect anything because it's seasoned oh enough and whatnot, gosh. right? It's I'm it's stressed. after the fact, right? It's after the fact that they'll have to roll to like resist its effects and and figure Oof. out that stuff. Oh, <laughs> so. I'm so sorry, Carly. I, I should know. not. Have I am sorry anything. too. <laughs> I was just like. So let's think no, real quick about like escalate this real quick. Let's think real quick about who exactly just ate this. Um, if we Alpheus, know Alpheus here, did it, yeah, he's Alpheus isn't here. Um, not here. But Avra ate it. Um, Malakith ate it. Keladon's not here <gasps> either. Um, Gavril ate it. Ophelia ate it. Ah! <laughs> I regret the thing that I've done. Althea, Althea ate it. And Perrin ate it. Ugh. Yikes. Yeah, wow. A bunch of people just ate it. This is going to be bad. Okay. So let me figure out what is exactly happening here mechanically. Um, so you've, I mean, basically you poisoned them is really what happened. Is it them making health tests against it or something? I think, yeah, I think they'd probably make a health test. 
Um, unless initially it's, just like not just like not, and then they can shrug. Up except yeah, like except that. this is more of like a spiritual thing that's happening. You know, let's do this. I I know we're we're early, but let's take a quick break because one, I have to really pee. Um, <laughs> and two, let me think about this for a moment, and we can come back uh, and figure. Are out. you gonna hop in the shower real quick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do some thinking. Yeah. No, we'll be right back at Death of Menace right after this and see the consequences of Cyrilus's actions. Stick around. <laughs> 